Hey everyone, Chris here, the RC Geek, coming to you from the field. And it's a bit wet today, but we're taking a look at the X-Fly Glass Star. Uh, this is about a 1300 millimeter wingspan approximately. Uh, and it is being labeled kind of as a trainer. Uh, and so the model itself, it's a really nice representation of the Glass Star. Uh, the wheels are a bit oversized for scale, but uh, in terms of, you know, if you're operating from grass, dirt, anything like that, it'll handle that really well. Uh, but in terms of the assembly, it was really quick. Uh, the wing is one piece, which is really nice. Uh, so you pretty much just bolt the wing on, bolt the tail into place, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and so then, of course, you have to put the landing gear on as well. But otherwise, uh, you know, the model is the finish on it. It's extremely smooth. Now, the white is bare foam. Uh, I do wish it was painted potentially, but it, it's extremely smooth to the touch. It's really quite remarkable. X-Fly has really uh, figured out how to get a nice smooth finish from their models. Uh, but in terms of the controls, now I am running uh, mid-rate on my elevator, uh, low rate on my ailerons, and that equates to... For the aileron, I'm at 60% travel uh, with no expo there. For the elevator, I'm at 80% travel and also no expo. And then for the rudder, I'm at 100% travel with 25% uh, expo. And that helps really desensitize the steering quite a bit. Now, in terms of the CG, I'm using a 3S 2200 pack. Uh, that's pushed all the way forward. You got the battery area here. Uh, and so that's pushed all the way forward. To CG the airplane, you've got the wing struts underneath. And if you actually pick up the airplane from uh, the outboard wing struts here on the wing uh, with your fingertips, and the airplane's more or less level, that coincides with the CG and it works out quite well. With all that said, in terms of flying the airplane, this is a really nice forgiving flyer. Uh, it could use maybe a little bit more prop to it uh, if you're looking for a little bit more performance, but for a trainer, uh, you know, it's going to do most everything you want, uh, especially for learning just basic flying. Uh, and so it will do loops, rolls, things of that sort, but you do need to get a bit of speed behind it before you do. Otherwise, it will kind of fall out of the maneuver. It will even knife edge, although it does have a bit of coupling to it. Uh, but otherwise, you know, it's a really nice, forgiving airplane, and, and it looks good too. Uh, and so... Uh, the tires can get a bit bouncy uh, depending on your touchdown. So if you carry a bit of power and you really flare it, uh, it should touch down pretty nicely. Uh, but they are air filled, so you can add air into them. I haven't put any air, so they're pretty flat and they make kind of a goofy sound on the runway. <laughs> all right, with all that said, let's give you guys a flight, uh, show you what this airplane can do, and then we'll come back and wrap this up. Sound from those tires is fine. Yeah. Sounds like they're rolling over rock. <laughs> yeah. Are those scale sounding tires? <laughs>
All right, so there we have the XFly Glassstar. Uh, you know, if you're in the market for a trainer, uh, this is a good uh, option. Uh, it will help teach you the basics. I do recommend some individual instruction to help you with the success uh, if you are learning. But otherwise, if you're looking for kind of a, a performance, kind of aerobatic airplane, I think with a bit more prop to it, uh, this will do the job really well. Uh, and so, yeah. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow along on social media at the RC Geek. Subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you at the field. <laughs> Man, your phone. <laughs> I told you. We're doing something here, okay? Sorry, Chris. <laughs> hey, everyone. Chris here, the RC Geek, coming to you from the field. It's a bit ret. Ret? Today. Rainy ret. And very wet ret. Combined. Yeah. <laughs> it's ret. <laughs>